after dinner, um, the captain wants to get things underway. So let's go ahead and activate this one. Um, there we go. Oh, I actually do have one more question for the captain. Okay. What do you need? Uh, I, I know he's just said, you know, it's just his room that uh, uh, has the dampening effect. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if he had a way to turn it off if there was ever a need. Or, if it, or is it a 24-7 thing? Uh, uh, we'd have to throw the uh, the talismans that are in this room within the walls overboard, which means we would have to break into the walls. Destroy your room. We would have to destroy okay. my home to get this done. Okay, so 24, uh, 24 7 type of deal. That's the no. So I, I, I've been forgetting to do this math all week, so I'm going to do some math real quick. Um, five. Okay. Oh, crap. It's not going to be times 1.15, is it? Okay. So 1.85 instead. Okay, so um, you can see by the map that you're you're on the spindrift, uh, and I'll ha have to move things kind of separately. But um, uh, times 1.85. Okay, that's still miles per hour. I don't want miles per hour. 280 divided by 328. Yeah, no, that's kilometers per hour. Okay, so, uh, all right, so um, the, uh, the captain, almost immediately after dinner, makes sure that sails are ready, that everything's loaded and tied down, netted in place, everything like that. That takes about an additional hour. Uh, about the time that he's done, there are lamps all over the deck uh, that have been lit. Uh, for for easier... We're taking sail at night? Yes, we're going to t start to take sail at night. Okay, it, you know, he, he's like, Alrana, would you prefer to start this in the morning? And she looks at you guys. It's your discussion, Alana. Whatever you need. Uh, I, I, just, I just thought we had to sail with the tide in the morning. That's what all the books say. <laughs> um... Well, you're actually going to be going through the Firth of Clyde um, and then around. Uh, so, yeah, the seas are kind of treacherous. He says, I sailed it at night, but we'll wait until the morning so that all you land lovers can, can uh, figure out what you're doing. Get your sea legs about you. So, uh, I was just thinking it would be a better idea. Uh idea that you know usual sailing practice to well, the, do it at the eh, day you can but i mean you're going to be sailing at night anyway it, it's going to be a little while so all right anyway um uh, when the tide is right and when the captain says we leave yeah, <laughs> so I, was, I was just a bit curious that we were leaving now yeah um well when the captain says eh, we'll leave in the morning uh, there's a lot of very happy dwarfs, and you see bottles appear in hands like magic. Okay, <laughs> um, and there are some instruments that come out, um, various pipes, and you even see uh, a, an accordion comes out, and uh, a few violins or um, uh, a, a mandolin or two. There's musical instruments that pop up all over the place, and then all of a sudden the decks are swarmed with sailors and ladies of the night, sailors of all races, ladies of the night of all races, um, and the music just goes on until probably about midnight, so probably a good five hours. Okay. What was uh, Irena's uh, reaction to this? <laughs> she disappears as soon as the captain says uh, in the morning. Uh, her spear going with her, uh, and you don't really see her for the rest of the night unless somebody goes to like pay a visit with her. Uh, I I allow her to rest. Okay. 
probably take a couple of drinks from the you know uh, drawers, you know, join them a bit, and then go to bed. Okay. I, I'm going to do some dancing. Some dancing? <laughs> um, Roll a, a performance. I want to see how good you're acting. <laughs> yeah, who, who's, who's going to be dancing? Let's, let's figure that out first. Robert, so are you going to be no. dancing? Negative. Okay. Um, Jamie's in the shower. I'm going to say it's going to be a new thing for Cret to figure out. So let me close this and get open Cret. So uh, this is going to be a new experience for Cret. So let me see. Let's see. What would it be? Probably dexterity. So I'm just going to roll Party dex. Party on the deck with some drunken dwarven sailors? Uh-huh. Oh, Cret oh. sucks. He's not doing good oh. at all. Okay. Is it just a straight up dex roll? Uh, yeah, straight up dex ought to do. Uh, this, this isn't, this isn't going to go well for me either. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's oh, well, pretty good. Better than I thought. But uh, Okay, so let's you're see. Good, what is the. Decent. Yeah, it's an action total of 10. That makes case. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here, here's the I'm thing. We're teaching them the. I'm up there teaching them the jitterbug. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to dance, too. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay, it, it seems I'd Chris... Be better than you, Bo. It seems Chris, the aerospace engineer nerd, um, is doing far better than, uh, than the rest of you thus far. He can bust a move. I, yeah. Yeah. Let's um, not fall on my face. Uh <laughs> it's just a straight dex roll. Yeah, it's straight oh. dex roll. Let's see it. All right. Hold on here. Roll. Ah, there we go. Not bad. That's that's enough to make it so that you don't look like a retard, you know. Um, I don't look like I'm having a seizure or a stroke. <laughs> I'm, you are from New York. They've got all kinds of weird stuff there, so... <laughs> Um, keeping pace with Mo. You're you're okay. You're keeping pace with Mo as he's teaching the jitterbug. Um, the jitterbug, or, the twist. Shake it up, baby, now. Uh, uh, you're too <laughs> early for that. You you come from a, a place that's too early for that. Yeah. Actually, actually, peaches. If you were doing the Humpty dance, it looks like a fit or a convulsion. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, Cret is, it, it, regardless of how, how badly he's dancing, he doesn't break a leg literally or anything like that, but, uh, he does end up in, uh, bumping into a ton of people and ends up being kind of a basketball almost. Um, they're, uh, <laughs> uh well, ah, rat. <laughs> uh, oh no, they've seen him. They understand. He's he's uh, maybe head and shoulders shorter than they are. That's it, though. Um, so as he's bumping into dwarfs because he can't dance, they're they're using him as as kind of a a, a volleyball or basketball uh, to to have fun with. And uh, Cret is absolutely loving it um, Mosh pit. <laughs> because it's a new experience for him. So. Uh, okay, so I need to figure out how to measure again on, on the morrow. All right, who's drinking? I would. Oh, I am. I said I was. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me, uh, I'm going to pull up Claus here because he's not in tonight. Uh, let's see. What would be willpower? Um, give me a willpower or spirit test. And and we'll kind of go one at a time on that too. All right. Okay. So let's see, uh, Chris, you end up not doing so well. the 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 deck is going to have to be swabbed in the morning. Uh, who else? I got an eight. Oh no. Yes, you got an eight. You, it's not a ten. Uh oh. Uh oh. Penny. Penny can't hold her liquor. No, Penny cannot hold her liquor at all, and the dwarves start making fun of you two 
Um, <laughs> Mo, on the other hand, being the huge lizard that he is, having having eaten all of the dinner that he did, because there was plenty of it to have, even though his bounty spell didn't work, um, uh, he makes an action total of 14. So, uh, what about you, Dogfight? Did you drink at all? I'm a, I'm, I'm a pilot. Of course I did drink. I, of course I drank. <laughs> Give me a roll, man. Willpower or spirit. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I took one sip and made the alcohol face and spit it out, choking, gasping, crying. And falling on my tush. Lightweight. <laughs> anyway. uh, apparently, it's taking me some time to remember how to breathe. You said willpower or, or, or willpower or spirit? Is that what you said? Willpower skill or the spirit attribute. Ten. Oh my goodness, and like twenty-three. Um, you are Drinking able. Like a dwarf. You are Drinking able like to drink. Dwarf. Exactly. <laughs> you drink like a dwarf. Um, and and uh, uh, you seem to hold your liquor pretty well so yeah dogfight does great now cret let me describe to you what's going on since you just got back in the room cret failed his test very badly uh wound up um uh failing i, I rolled a two for him uh his dancing skill Okay, so he wound up bumping into a bunch of dwarves, and he's being used as a, a volleyball and a basketball and, and various things. But Bouncy ball. Bouncy ball. But this is Kret. And Kret is a follower of Lanala, which means this is a new experience for him. So what would he be doing? Well, I know one thing. Kret doesn't have any rhythm, period. No, so. no, he does uh, not. That is true. <laughs> We have now established that. So we stop him now, would it? <laughs> was that Ginger? What was that? I said having no rhythm wouldn't necessarily stop him now, would it? No, no, it wouldn't. It's a new experience. The dance was a new experience. Being thrown around by dwarves and you know rolled around the deck and stuff is a new experience, and he's probably loving it. So um, uh, and... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say loving it, but. I don't know. Um, uh, since, I think it's interesting. Since Jamie's never been drunk before, I'm still going to ask him, uh, would Kret be drinking through all of this? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rats can drink. Yeah, I'm certain of it. If if they can if they can eat all kinds of garbage and stuff they can they can probably drink alcohol with the best of them. But, but since Fred ain't drinking crap. Okay. We offer fermented fruit. Yeah, there you go, fermented fruit. Uh, but that's a new experience too. If you weren't being bounced around and stuff, you might consider it differently. Maybe. Okay. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, let's see. What about? Does anybody <laughs> does anybody that remains on deck end up insulting any dwarves? So here's the deal. This one is just a general roll of one through four. If you roll a one through four, you've insulted a dwarf. So I need everybody to roll. What is charisma? Nope. Uh, it's it's just a d20. Not in store of my dwarven brethren. Okay, eighteen nine. Uh, uh oh, who, who? Robert, you rolled oh, a three. Robert, are you looking to start a fight? Bar fight, bar fight, bar fight. <laughs> okay, so you made it, but just barely. Uh, oh, dog fight. Let's start a fight. I wasn't going to, but if you're going to get into a bar well, fight, I'll duke it out with some dwarves too. We're, we're if we do make it a fight, we're going to make it a real simple fight. But um, so the dwarves, a few of the dwarves, get with you about some of your equipment and wonder how it is you're able to float above the deck so okay. efficiently. Okay, and you try and explain it to them. And somehow managed to slip in a dwarven slight. Probably just because it all went over their heads. Anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And, and they're like, oh. I would explain it to you, but it's probably over your head. Oh, we're going to, 
we're going to town on that one, laddie. So, um, anyway, uh, I don't know. I guess Tolkien's original dwarves were supposed to be German, and, but most people make them Scottish or Irish. So, oh, um, uh, 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 we're 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 on the deck, right? Yeah, and you, yeah. you're you're still docked, so everything's cool there. I, I'm not worried about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're we're on the deck. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go about eight feet up and kind of go me. <laughs> <laughs> adding more, adding more insult. They're oh. gonna pull out like the cannon on oh, you. Oh, you're gonna love this. One of uh, one of the deck hands grabs a tool from his tool belt and hucks it at you, and it misses, Good. and it misses, yeah. and it hits the deck, but it goes through one of the the holes wait, on the side wait, of the deck. Wait, 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 wait before you say that. Okay. Uh, um. The the uh. Let's see. Uh. uh what are you trying to do? Um, Just remember, this I, is a friendly I, I, little bar fight. <laughs> well, okay, fine. I won't do it yet. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll let him go. I'll let him go. I ain't going to hurt him. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, hang around me, but there it goes down one of the holes, then what? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, on the side of, of wooden ships, what in the world? Okay, on the side of wooden ships... Uh, they have several holes to allow any excess water to drain off of the deck. His uh, the tool that he has, which uh, I'm just going to say it's like a hammer, some kind of a a, a hammer, um, uh, goes through the hole and into the drink. And he growls even further. Now you've made me lose my favorite hammer. You know, something like that. And yes, I changed voices again. Um, I, 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 hey, that's my hey, that's my well, lackey. You're throwing crap at. <laughs> okay, so, that one was good. good. So I was gonna go and get the hammer. I think I may throw uh, 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 Mo in to get the hammer. And, and, <laughs> um, I actually throwing him under like, the bus. Are you? When uh, when 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 the when, he, when it looks like the hammer is going going askew, I will uh, I, I will I, I will it. And fetch it for him. Okay, so uh, give me a dex check. This one's gonna be kind of difficult because that thing's moving, um, and uh, uh, it's twelve or better. Okay. No, no. Let's see if we can help him get his hammer back, everybody. That's not a problem, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, maybe I, 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 play some control and left click. Okay, so I have to hold down control to do that. Okay, I'm going to keep that up, though. There you go. Okay. It's only 11. Uh, okay, I'm so you're turning this into a complete nutter bar fight at this point. Uh oh. So, well, it hasn't really started to move into bar fight territory yet, but your action total hey, was only... he chucked a hammer at dog fight. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you're, That's the way he threw it. He, dude, he threw it in the general direction of up. He didn't throw it at dog fight. <laughs> That's about right, too. Well, well his, his intention seemed clear. <laughs> okay, so you, you uh, have a dex test, dexterity test with an action total of 11. Do you want to throw a card at it uh, that might give you a bonus? Or uh, do you want to, uh, does anybody have a card, a, like a plus three card they could give him? I mean, I yeah, but I don't think it's that important for this, at least not yet. <laughs> okay. Sure, the, board, the doors aren't attacking you. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys are just gonna let it stand? Uh, I mean, I, I unless you allow me to also do a skill check to get it, then yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, never mind. I can handle myself. I can handle myself. I, okay. I, I have a coup de gras. A coup de gras? Yeah, That's just damage. A card. No, I it's a. I only gave you a card so that to yes. smooth this over. Oh, okay. Well, ha hang on a second. Oh, hang on a second. We'll dog get fight. to that one thing at a time. Um, dog fight. Uh, My you, bad. You. Oh, s won't help me. Huh? Oh well. I well, said Kudigra won't help me. 
Yeah, coup de gras won't help you. That's to effect, not action total. So, right. um, uh, so let's see. So the the hammer slips off into the drink, but if you look down, you can see that the hammer is still floating because it's made of rawhide and wood. So, well, then there. Okay, so you're gonna try and go get it. Yeah, sure. Okay, it it doesn't take but a moment. You you get down and and you get the hammer. What do you do it, uh, with it after that? I'd come back up and like you know, yeah, you drop something. <laughs> he growls even louder. I didn't need you to get that for me. It, it's all he is drunk enough that he is trying to start a fight. Mm. I'm helping. <laughs> All right, Mo. What are you doing? I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. In this time, my my my, my utterance would have hit the uh, airwaves before this. So it's a. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. So what what did you do? So, so, so basically, right. what what Mo wants to do is start a fight with me and the dwarf. That's what he wants to do. <laughs> hey, I was taking up for you. <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> <laughs> There's one to fight. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. After saying that about him throwing a hammer at dogfight, uh, I, I, I like, you know, snarl at him. Say, why don't you go find a box and come over here and we can like. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Ain't that rough. <laughs> that's, that's something, man. That's rough right there. I like it. Uh, okay, it's let me. Too to get under, except it's a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, no, no, stop. Okay, so I'm, I'm not moving that yet. Okay, but I know where I'm going for the first day. So, um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so a couple of his dwarf pals look at you, and they're like, would you like to keep your kneecaps, laddie? Oh, no. <laughs> you just gave him the perfect ammunition. <laughs> You might want to make note of the fact that his kneecaps are already reversed. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. They're drunk enough that they don't care what's going on. Uh, uh. Oh, do you want some help on a line back at them? <laughs> no. Feel, feel free to jump in, Chris. <laughs> I'm, not taking, I'm not taking your guys' side, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Oh, come on. Where's the camaraderie? <laughs> so you're yeah, saying you're going to stick it out? Hey, hey, look, the three. Uh, so are the three of you going to go after my kneecaps, or if you gonna, are you going to climb on each other's shoulders so one of you is up to my nose? <laughs> oh, 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 man. There is the, all three of them are like complete. No, wait a minute. There's two of them that are coming after you. One of them is still kind of dealing with dogfight. Um, but all of the dwarves are starting to look in the direction of you two. Um, and all of them have this, this look on their face, like, oh, it's on. No, okay. he didn't. <clears throat> oh, uh, no, he didn't. Can I pick up some, like, water and then just splash it over Mo's head and say, calm down? <laughs> I to uh, yeah, you know what? Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Mo, do you want him to have to roll for it? Oh, no, that's okay. I mean, I'm probably not in the least bit like focused on him at all. And besides, uh, you're a big lizard. Water is nothing I'm big a, to you. So you get no, smacked in the head. You get smacked in the head with a bucket load, um, probably about two gallons worth of water in the back of your noggin, um, and it, it goes over your shoulders and everything like that. And the dwarves um, are, are looking at you like, "How did that happen?" And uh, and and they're just completely surprised. Now, dogfight. What's your next move? I, I just you know gave him his hammer. <laughs> oh, you just give him his hammer. Okay. Um. So Chris, when you uh tell Mo to cool down, um, all th all three of the dwarves, the one that's focusing on on uh, on dogfight, and the other two, all three look at you, and they're like. Did you do that? I like yeah, up like and what? if you want me, I could what? toss him into the river, too. <laughs> Mo, what do you say to that? I say that liquor made me blind. What I miss? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Chris? That you could throw me in the river? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, 
I, 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 one eye just sort of turns around to look at you as, as I'm sitting there looking sheeny now. Yeah. 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 And it's like, what's up with this, you traitorous little punk? <laughs> <laughs> Here, me and these fine dwarves, we're going to have a discussion. Uh, and you go start throwing water at everybody? Only you, because you're going to get your ass beat. <laughs> Ooh, by, by them? <laughs> they don't even have full beards yet. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. You are definitely the focus of trouble now. Okay? Because uh, you now have about 15 dwarves that are looking at you, only one of which is actually stroking a long beard, and that's one of the executives. <laughs> yeah, see, except for him. <laughs> he he seems to smile very satis self-satisfied and backs off to the railing. See, now you're only facing 14 of them. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. I, 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 I'm, I'm like popping some knuckles and, and it's like so are any of you dwarf enough to face me one at a time or should I just get ready to throw the whole mob of you overboard <laughs> okay when you say that the anger on the drunken faces of all of these dwarves um, deepens do any of the rest of you do anything about this Oh, I I tried, I tried. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what would work. <laughs> okay, so don't want to say uh, anything or anything like that. Anything I could say would make it worse, except maybe <laughs> shut up. No, <laughs> all three of you. Um, or pretend I'm invisible and quietly go off to bed. <laughs> um okay we'll see about that one in just a moment <clears throat> and uh the the first dwarf that threw his hammer is like i don't know about single boys but let's get him and you've got 14 dwarves charging at you right now uh mo um there is no way they're going to miss you uh, but what can you possibly do and potentially, well, we'll, we'll go through, uh, we're not going to flip a card on this one. We're just doing this informally. Um, wait, 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 Craig comes behind and starts trying to protect, protect Mo. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Let's just escalate. That lands on their back. <laughs> Throw me, will ya? <laughs> I uh, I I uh, I would probably want yep. to uh, mm -hmm. make sure that Kret doesn't uh, escalate things, <laughs> nor Chris either. Okay, hold on a second. So let's let's picture this scene here. Mo has fourteen almost beardless dwarves. Okay, a lot of them have hair and stuff, but they cut it short for the sake of of uh, traveling on the ocean. It helps keep. Uh, things cleaner. Um, so they're charging Mo. Cret is behind Mo. Um, Chris, did you want to try and do anything? I I did my you know thing to try to like calm uh, Mo down. <laughs> well, okay, that was then. This is now. At this point, I'm just letting it go. I'm like, okay, I said he was going to get his ass beat, and here it is. So you're as long as. As long as nobody's using weapons on him, he can take his ass beating. Okay. Yeah. Ginger, you were saying that you wanted to try and keep Kret from doing anything uh, foolish. Yes. Okay. How are you going to do that? Because he's, he's probably not standing real close to you. Prayer? <laughs> huh? Nothing. <laughs> Any uh, ideas? Could I grab him? Um, we might be able to have you do a dex check to do that, but, um, let's see, that's you against Kret. Uh, hang on just a minute. Uh, you might be able to grab him, I'm not sure. Um, Dogfight, what is it you're doing? Um, I'm kicking up to about 15 feet and chilling out, waiting, <laughs> and, uh, like I said, 
when, once they start putting a beat down on the lizard, you know, when, when they when if they keep hitting him after he yeah. goes down, uh, I might step in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He can, uh, he can go overboard. I happen to know for a fact that he, he can swim with mosasaurs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Cret and Peaches, each of you give me a, a dexterity roll. Uh, let's say a standard target number, 10. Dex is... Um, okay, so you've got a 10, so you're going to make yours. I want to see if he's going to roll higher or lower. He rolled a 12. So cr you can grab Cret after he's able to do what he's going to do. So here's the order that I'm going to establish. Okay. Uh, Cret goes first, followed by Peaches, followed by Mo. And then we've got Chris and Dogfight that are kind of keeping out of the way. Uh, and that will be honored, at least for now. Um, he, he, actually, yeah, Mo will get one action before he's tackled and taken overboard. Um, uh, uh, so, Cret, what do you want to do? Remember, you've got a whole bunch of enhancements since the last time you played. Okay? So, look at your... Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at your uh, cantrips. And your regular spells. And if you've got something else that you wanted to try and do, you go ahead. Cantrips are the gear, right? Or okay, are... so, uh, no. See the three heads? Over there, towards the left? Oh. The actor's directory? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and pop that open. I've already got my uh, character. Uh, okay. All right, then go to your powers. Okay, all of your um, all of your spells that you have available to you while in aisle. Oh, oh okay. Uh, the ones that are cantrips, I need to mark as cantrips. I for I forgot to do that. But while you're in aisle, it's not going to matter anyway. Okay. I'm gonna do because we're on a ship. You are on a correct? ship. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little. Earth Barrier. Oh, okay. So, Earth Barrier. Let's see. Uh, toughness is considered an active defense, but not the concealment bonus. So, what that's for, okay, is for did, did, active defense or active effect. Or no? uh, yeah, hold on. Hold on just a second. I know that you just rolled a three, but uh, let's see. No, toughness is considered an active effect, inactive effects, but not the concealment bonus, so be mindful. Okay, so that is kind of a shield uh, sort of thing. So you need to roll your apportation uh, skill value uh, oh, okay. versus a minimum skill value of 10. So okay. Delete that. Um... I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to go on. Okay, let me get back over there. Oh! So, oh wow, twenty, thirty. Why didn't Why didn't this other ten open? Um, it did. It did. Because he, he his die roll was a total of of thirty. Now, if you go, let's see, where is it? Um, okay, he rolled a twenty, and then he rolled a ten. So the ten should have rolled again. Uh, oh, that's right. There's an issue with that. Um, uh, roll, uh, roll a, uh, D10. So, um, in the, in the chat, you would put forward slash, R, space, 1D10. He needs to roll a D20, doesn't he? Well, yeah, a 1D20. That's right. That's right. I could just hit that uh, that that uh, torque. Well, okay, yeah, you can you can do that too. Okay, so that gives you a total of thirty-eight to your die roll. So we'll we'll figure that out here in a minute. Uh, that was on aisle page thirty-six. Uh, I thought there was a bonus to that for good and uh, and outstanding results. In fact, I'm certain there was, and I typed it in. 
Okay, so Earth Barrier. Nope, no there's not. Uh, it says uh, you can raise a small barrier that provides two points, concealment and toughness five cover. So it's a toughness five and two points of concealment. So that's that's really nice, but... Uh, um, okay. All right, so earth, your earth barrier goes up really nicely. Um, and for them to batter it down... They're going to have to actually beat a penalty of four, um, so a total of fourteen, okay, to to beat that. So, but the earth barrier goes up in front of the um, uh, uh, of the dwarves that are charging <laughs> that are charging Mo, and then you are grabbed by the back of your robes and pulled away <laughs> your spell does not fail because it stays for a whole minute <laughs> but you hear a bunch of thump, 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 thump. no not that kind of minute um it's six rounds basically so yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh so it, it pops up <clears throat> goodness and uh and and uh you know you hear a bunch of thump 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 thump, thump behind there <laughs> oh 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 no <laughs> Brad, Brad, Chris uh, just laughing his head off. Like, like, how, 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 how tall is the barrier? Uh, the barrier. We're gonna say the barrier is about eight feet tall. I was thinking ten feet. Um, you know, we could do it ten feet. Let's do. Ten feet. I'm easy. Not cheap, just easy. Um. So. <laughs> anyway, that barrier kind of builds its way all the way around you. Um, so, um, Peaches, when you grab Kret by <laughs> by his robes, you turn around and there's a barrier right in front of you. Oh, <laughs> so you get stopped right there. <laughs> the only place you can are go they, is are, overboard. Are they both in there with me? Yes. Um, Chris, you I see this around, barrier I turn pop look up. At him and I'm like, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> all right. It, at least some of you have the, uh, at least some of you have the fortitude for a good bit of exercise after a nice party. Uh. There is one little thing. Hang on, hang on. I need Ginger's reaction on this first. It's like you might be my brother in arms, but sometimes you just need to shut. Uh, what? <laughs> they started it. <laughs> I'm shaking Cret and pointing at you, Mo. And and that's the thing, Mo. As far as you know, they actually did start it because you yeah. didn't hear the insult that uh, uh. Uh, that dogfight accidentally oh. uttered. <laughs> yeah. So what? They they started it. Uh, you don't have to and, it. and it's just and it's just a friendly bit of wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now, Crap. Uh, maybe gonna... somebody will get to go for a swim. It's uh. true, but we're guests on their ship. <laughs> and this is apparently one of their party favors. I mean, why in the world wouldn't you want to indulge it? <laughs> You're impossible. Uh. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh that's he funny. It's quite real. He'll have, he'll have you know. <laughs> okay, so okay, so it's going to be a full minute before this barrier comes down. What do you want to do during that time? I'm trying to calm them down and get them out of. Well, when I when I stop having hysterics myself, <laughs> that's like, can we all just? Agree, the party's over now. <laughs> well, I don't think that's really up to us anymore. <laughs> Can, I say what I Can I say what I was going to say before? Uh... Sure. What's up? Um, before you told me to mm -hmm. hold on. I, before I put the barrier up and stuff, Peaches starts to grab, grab me, and then that's when the barrier comes up. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. When you finish ca uh, uh, casting the spell, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I just wait for her to get 
close enough that way she didn't get. Oh, so you're face you're saving peaches. I'm kind of saving oh, peaches. So, huh? Chris, but the dwarves all look at you. <laughs> hey, I'm with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're too tall to be with us. Peaches, you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> so, Chris, what do you do? <laughs> I Can I like, take a couple steps, look, and see if the railing has been cut by, off by this wall? The railing has the railing not. It ship? stops right at the edge of the ship. The, okay. the railing is I kind of up, covered over a little the bit. And start walking over into the inside area of the wall. <laughs> Okay, the the ship is not moving yet, so you're oh, gonna look, need. Chris has decided to join us. <laughs> you, you, right, this will be awesome. You're gonna need and a then I, decks then of twelve. I, you know, my head back around. Follow me. Uh -huh. I want to beat him up. Follow me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you're leading the dwarves over there. Right there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> really? Okay. Low. Low blows. <laughs> oh, you went there. Oh. You went there. Hey, uh, guys, we might be losing our internet for a second. I'll have to reset it. Uh, is that what it's looking oh, like no, to you guys? Man. That would have been fine if you wanted to, like, bet against me, but for God's sakes, uh, this is almost traitorous. And? Uh, okay. Right, that's it. I tackle Chris. <laughs> Did you guys hear me about our internet? Uh, I, I I might end up losing it. It's been dodgy for the last week. Well, it's been dodgy for a long time, but... <sighs> so where were we? Um, I was getting a roll from... Well, I've been having a good time and bonding with the dwarves. Oh, yeah. yeah I was yeah. trying to bond with... I was trying to bond with the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> By fighting them. And, uh, and, 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 and then Chris turns completely traitorous on me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, um, so let's see. That was for Cret. Uh, let's see. The, okay, so the dwarves, what was I going to do? The dwarves are like... Um, uh, oh, oh, I know what I was going to do. So, uh, Chris, did we ever get a roll from you... Uh, for climbing up and walking along the um, the railing. No, no, no. Let, let, let's go ahead and have a, a dex check, please. <laughs> oh God. So, uh, ooh, ooh, a four action total. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay. So roll one d six. Odds, you go to your left and remain on the deck. Evens, you go to your right and go into the water. <laughs> Chris, you slip and go into the water. Can I use a reaction to... Well, not reaction, but as I'm falling, can I use try to use telekinesis to just float above the water? Um, That's pretty quick, because you're going to fall pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to I say... Difficulty? Uh, yeah, I'm going to raise the difficulty by plus two. So I think your your regular difficulty is a ten, right? Okay. And I make it. Okay, so you're able... Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh no. No, no, no. Ho hold on, hold on. I will describe this in just a moment. Let me see. Okay. Mm, that's only a plus one. Ten. Plus a six, so that's a sixteen. That that one will do. Okay, and let's see for the third group. Oh wow! Oh, oh. So okay, so that's the okay. So four of them stop as you're falling and try to stop some of their other colleagues. A group of five of them get to the railing but stop in time. The first group of five dwarves goes into the drink after you. But you're floating oh, above no. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. So now the concern, it, it, you hear dwarf overboard from about five of them, five or six of them. And uh and and they start <laughs> they, they, uh 
they start grabbing things to throw over to to their dwarvish friends. I'm okay, I'm okay. But but a lot of them are 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 looking at you, whether it's dwarves in the water or dwarves on the deck. They're looking at you um, with some pretty nasty looks. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't tell them to jump after me. <laughs> no, you didn't tell them to jump after you. But here's the thinking of dwarves. They wanted to go after Mo, and they were going to take him overboard into the drink, all 14 of them. Then Kret cast his uh, Earth Barrier spell, so they couldn't get through that. You... So good! You um, were going to try... Uh, uh, you were calling out to the dwarves, telling them to follow you on the railing, but you failed your check, so you start going into the drink. The dwarves go after you to go into the drink. The order of importance is this. Man overboard is more important than getting into a fight um, with the man who is being a traitor to his friends, which is more important than okay. getting into a fight but I mean, with a big after lizard. After they start falling in, I meet Will. It's like, I'm all right, I'll, and I start trying to help them up. Uh, the okay. I'm helping you. Now, yeah. now, telekinesis is concentration, right? So yes. uh, you should be able to do that, but you need strength. So I'm going to need uh, uh, strength checks. Let me look here. So let's see, how much would a dwarf weigh? Uh, what, what happened while I was like getting my water? Okay. Chris failed his roll. He rolled a four. He slipped off uh -huh. the railing into the water. Okay, the dwarves started going after him, man overboard style. Um, four of the dwarves stayed where they were. Five of the dwarves got to the railing at the edge of the uh, at the at the starboard side of, or I'm sorry, the port side of the ship, and uh, they stopped and tried to reach after the other five dwarves that were going into the drink to save Chris, because the order of precedence is this. Man overboard is more important to take care of right now than uh, than snapping up a traitor and beating right. the snot out of him. And uh, uh, beating up a traitor uh, who is betraying his friends is more important than going after a huge lizard who has insulted them. <clears throat> um, so, that is the comedy of errors right there. So, okay... <laughs> We're going to kind of wrap the night up pretty quick. Um, you, I'm not going to have you do strength checks. Let's just say you managed to help the dwarves get back uh, on on deck, and they go Penny to dry up. What? Penny will help, too. Oh, I mean, certainly. Yeah, she'll, she'll tie a rope and, and, and lend her strength to the effort. Okay, you probably don't have your rope and all the stuff with you, but by but the I imagine there's some on the deck of the ship, right? Uh, you're behind an earth barrier for about the first forty seconds. Yeah. Uh huh. So once that forty seconds goes down, yeah, you can you can help out. But by the time <laughs> you're done tying the rope, they've already got all five dwarves back on ship because they know how to get their 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 bad guys back on or not bad guys, good guys, their crewmates back on board. Okay. Okay. Whew. But you do help <laughs> out. Oh um, no, we're we're sitting there listening, and and, and 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 all of a sudden we just hear Chris scream a splash, and then several other splashes. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah but Chris didn't splash. splash. Chris didn't splash. He rolled oh. he rolled a sixteen action total on his telekinesis to catch himself, and he only needed a twelve. So he uh -huh. he, he caught himself with telekinesis is floating above the water, and here are all these dwarves who missed him who were at the front. Um, uh, who were kind of going over the railing on the ship. Just a comedy of errors, okay? Uh, going to Space Flash, we were taking a bath. Um, by the time, yeah, exactly. By the time all of the dwarves are, are back on board and, and, uh, and everything like that before any kind of argument or fight or anything like that can resume, um, uh, the captain, captain comes out. Captain Skywise comes out, and he's like, What are you doing? You can't celebrate like this. <clears throat> we have work to do in the morning. Go to bed. And then he, and, and the, both XOs are out there kind of shuffling their own people 
off to their racks. Uh, anything you guys want to do for the rest of the night before we shut things down here? No. I suppose, is Mo still standing by the rails? I don't know. No. Is no, Mo? probably not. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you lean over to help your dwarvish friends? I didn't know they went overboard. By the time by the time the Earth Barrier came down, it was all it no. was all over and done with. They were being pulled up. No, no, no. You still had forty seconds. Oh. The Earth no. Barrier the Earth Barrier was not all around you. It only went to the railing. Okay? Mm. It, it it blocked off uh the dwarves from getting to you on the deck itself, but at the railing it cut off. You can't keep an earth no. barrier like that. Um so no. in that case I, I, I get over there to the rail, I'll look over. <laughs> And, and I'm like, ah, well done, Chris. You threw some of them in. Ah, I guess we ought to fish them out. <laughs> All right. Got to start. Can I just use a spare hand to, like, splash him in the face with some water? No. <laughs> uh, probably not. Um, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> We're going to cut it out for the night. Um, next week, we're actually going to get into what scene one was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, there's nothing wrong with having a bit of fun. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, this was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> so, any questions, questions, queries, quibbles, quips, anything before we cut it out for the night? Welcome back, Robert. First things first. Oh, no, yeah. no thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's always a blast whenever you you hop on, dude. I uh, mean, well, we you. missed you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So, that being said, I'm going to wish everybody in our Possibility War audience a good night. Uh, you guys want to chime in? No. Good night, see you later, you folks. <laughs> see you later, folks. And hopefully we'll see you next week. I should be available next week. So... All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, tonight was a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. Um, I've been needing to get back to this. So, uh...